Hello everyone, I'm glad to be here. My name is Otavio Santana and today let's talk about CDI. The first question that I usually ask when somebody introduces me a new framework is why? Why should I use this new specification inside Jakarta or microprofile words? Basically, we want to achieve a good code, a readable code, and a clean code, right? And software architect, software design, and senior engineers, we probably read several articles in book about it. So we probably know about uh, clean code book, DDD, and the solid principle. And that's why uh, we should understand better the CDI, because CDI help us to achieve good results with the code. Uh, you probably, uh, let me think a sample here, let me think about Courage. Courage. That has cars, right? So let's create a car here. It doesn't matter. And it's natural that when we have a garage that has a list of car, we probably gonna use the list interface instead of use the implementation. Why? Because in the solid we have the interface creation. The client should know should not know about the interface. So we're probably gonna do something like that, right? And one way is to inject this dependence by constructor. So I have my car here. And I have the option to create my, my, my garage. Garage. Uh, and then inject manually the list. As bigger the application become and more enterprise is normal, it's hard to do it manually. That's why we usually use this kind of dependence injection engine. Uh, CDI is the specification, however, we have more and more platforms, the job board, who covers it. For example, we have Spring, uh, we also have Micronaut with this uh, kind of engine, we have Quarkus and so on. So, the word is huge in this kind of solution and basically, we are able to do it manually. Again. The main reason to use CDI is to achieve good results in the code design. So everything that you know, like solid principle, CDI will make it easier to you apply. Let's move on. Imagine right now that I want to inject an instance of a car inside my application. To explore these features inside CDI, if you reduce the scope of complexity, I will cover it using Java SE. And if you're familiar with CDI, it's okay. If you're not, don't worry. The point is, after CDI 2.0 or higher, we are able to use CDI with Java SE. So it's a basically plain Maven product. Uh, that we have several dependencies that includes the weld. And weld is the reference implementation of CDI, where I'm using the version 5.1 final. The first point that I will explore today is the SE container. So I have my SE container with my container. And then I will create this container with the SE container initializer. And then I will start a new instance. This API uh, supports uh, Java 7 or higher, I mean Java 8 or higher. Therefore, I'm able to explore these features in Java 8 or higher. For example, use try with resource. So, you are able to do that. Let's run our CDI container. As you can see, this version has the big man. So I'm using Jakarta package name here. Uh, the first step 
I initialized the CDI container. Let's move on to inject the car. So I just sample here, I will inject the car. So I have my car, I have my car here, and using uh, the container, I will select my car. And then I will use this car here. So, hello, my car. And I'm using my hello, my car here. So, I put some information here like private string name, Ferrari. And then let's use my uh, to string to show it's possible and let's run again, right? A good point uh, as you can see here right now. I have a Ferrari CDI has DC and DC mean context Context dependence injection and the context matters a lot. So I able to put a scope on my my beam for example right now I can put uh, this car as application scope. So let inject here and then let inject again. Uh, let's inject again. Car one, car two, hello my car one, hello my car one and It is some instance, let's check, car equal equals car one, and let's execute. We are running, and as you can see, it's the same instance. Why? Because it is on application scope. So application scope means the single instance to the whole application. If I decided to delete this annotation here, it will be dependent scope and as you can see is the some instance false why because i inject here so i create the car then i inject here again so i created another car uh, let's put it simple let's create a constructor no you let's get off a while car instance and let's run as you can see i just put a constructor here and then put a message and as you can see create a new car instance why i inject here and then i put here this create twice and if i put oops now you're here if i put my application scope it should show just once let me check. As you can see, I created just once the car interface. And yes, I'm injecting a concrete class, but if you want, you are able to use this as an interface. So let's convert this car to an interface here, where I have my move method. Okay. And then let's create a concrete implementation so i have my ferrari it is a car implementation moving my ferrari this time i will inject my car and then move my car and let's see what's going on here so i'm moving my ferrari another good point you can explore the power of encapsulation so if i want to come here i will create a package called client let's move to a factor here i will hide the Ferrari here, uh, 
this way I'm not able to see if I wish right so let's try to, to explore Ferrari I'm not but I will inject the Ferrari I can explore more the power of capsulation uh, okay I could do a better sample so let's create a package let's call this package cars and then move the car in the Ferrari in the garage implementation to the car but anyway hopefully you got you got my point so I able to hide the implementation so my client even don't know about it it belongs to the CDI job if I want for sure I can make it public and then inject directly my Ferrari car Ferrari and then it will look in the scope right and then we will inject so I'm moving my Ferrari next question is what happened if I have multiple cars it's normal right so I have the Ferrari here let's use another Italian car like uh, Fiat where it will implement the car as well and let's use here moving my Fiat 500 okay so at this moment here I will go on exception because CDI has no idea each one it should inject right so they will show right now I have two options I have the Fiat or the Ferrari let's explore more the garage object here so right now instead of use uh, inject directly we're able to use the garage to inject the car so I will inject the car here uh, Ferrari and we have two ways to define or qualify qualify the, the interface one is using the name it so I will come here I use the name name it and put here as Ferrari and then I use my car to inject the field and also put the name as Ferrari and I also can do it with Fiat right so I come here car Fiat and do the same and then I able to use two methods so move Ferrari and then move Fiat okay so in Ferrari I you move Ferrari and Fiat as well I will move Fiat so right now I have my app where this time I will inject the garage In my garage so I will inject here so inject so garage move Ferrari and then move Fiat we will choose a better name here And let's run oops let's see what's going on wrong here so I guess I forget put name here as Fiat hopefully it will work and as you can see I have my garage that has one name to Fiat another name to Ferrari and then I was able to inject both the next way to solve the same issue instead of use named is to exploring the qualifier annotation yes you are able to create an annotation to define and qualifier your bins so let's use car brand here let's use just brand where it will be an interface interface I will use the qualifier annotation as you can see here 
I use the orientation as runtime, runtime, and my target you be basically everything. So my type, method, field, parameter. You are able to put uh, fields here. For example, if I want to qualify just for the annotations, okay. However, you are able to put more definitions inside these annotations. For example, I'm able to put a car type, car type value, or this car, this type is an enon. And I have a sport and regular car. Okay. So I have car type, sport and regular car. Uh, I'll use Vihara here, but instead of named, are you going to use my brand? This one here, you'll be the sport and Fiat. This one here, be, you'll be the red lock car. Hopefully you don't be offended with that. So I will replace to my qualifier, oops, no, my brand, sport. and regular this way i enjoy more because it's safer because it does not depend on a string it's is stronger than uh, a string for example if you if i type something wrong like export with an x it won't compile that's why i prefer to use qualifier especially with an on type hey otavio and if I want to put some value that I should not use in a qualifier, like, I don't know, string uh, text, anything like this, you're able to use just an this with non-bind, okay? And here you go, you're able to explore the non-bind. Right now, I return to garage. Have my sport. Have my regular car. I will move my move my sport car, and then I will move my regular car, and then I will run again. I'm using my Ferrari and my Fiat, the same result. Both is fine. Again, by I still prefer to use and explore the qualifier, especially because if I use with Enon, it will be harder to make mistake. And while I'm doing with uh, named, I able to do some mistakes, some typos, something like that. Or maybe I update the named of the implementation, if not implement uh, or update the client's named text, okay? But it's a garage, right? Imagine right now that I want to inject several uh, cars in that garage. So I have multiple cars here. I will inject, but this time I want everybody. So any is a qualifier to everyone so I will create my public moves and then I will move uh, my cars uh, my cars for it and each car I will explore the the move okay so I will come here to my app, garage, I will remove and then moves to move all available cars. So I moved my Ferrari and my Fiat and my garage uh, does even know where this information comes from. And I inject my, my app the same way. So the main reason is to explore more uh, readable code like that. My client doesn't do that to know. My garage implementation 
if I wish, doesn't need to know where this information comes from. I'm able to qualifier once makes sense. Imagine right now that I want to create my repository definition or create some complexity containers or something like that. To my client, you will only inject in a beautiful interface. Okay, that's a point about CDI. Achieve readable code. That's all. Thank you, everybody.